What's going on guys? We are in the beautiful state of Utah in Salt Lake City. About to start the scavenger hunt with SneakerCon. Let's go. We are at Sweet Lake, the home of the biscuits and limeades. And I believe you ordered a limeade? It's got I got and I didn't get a limeade, I got coffee. Did you get anything? Nope. Water. Water. And Michael's water too. Manny is a very long-standing friend of ours. We've known Manny for a little over a decade now, all the way from Austin to him moving to Dallas around a little while after Scotty and I did. Um, he has been working for a lot of incredible people over the last couple years, and the opportunity came, and we were able to bring him on to the home team. And uh, so we're happy to have Mr. Manny Fresco here. Sir, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically we are at this crazy biscuit place that serves this thing called the Haas. That's what they're known for. I didn't get the Haas because I'm trying to watch my diet, but I believe you got the Haas. I got the you got Haas. There's a whole row of Haas's over here. What'd you Hold get? Haas. Okay, everyone got the Haas but me, so. I regret it every single time, so I'm watching my weight today, this trip. I got the biscuits and gravy. I didn't have the chicken, the cheese, the egg, gotcha. nothing. So they're using local honey, because this is a beehive state. Larry already got some honey. Yeah, so it is local wild honey. They had three different yep, styles. Yep. They had the wild honey, they had the gold, gold honey, 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 which is like what it regularly looks yeah, regular like when you buy it from the grocery store. Sage honey. And then the sage honey. We got the wild honey. The wild honey is almost like, um, it has a creamier look to it. Yeah, it's, it's not, not liquid. It's not like a liquid. It, it has it's like, like wax. a waxy kind of, yeah, it's and good. it's incredible. So I took a little spoonful this morning. I thought it was gonna be like overwhelming with sugar or whatever, but it was not. It was like the perfect little spoonful of honey. Ooh. Hoss oh, coming in here. There you go. Thank you. We've got another one of those. This is a hoss. There you are. Yummy. Yeah, I mean, best lime I've ever had in my life. Best? Ever. Please try it, Scott. Please try it. Please try it. <laughs> Am I lying? No, that's incredible. Okay. It's incredible. Let me tell you something real quick. I'm going to be honest. The only lime I ever had was Sonic, and that was it. Okay. So if, we're uh, if it's better than Sonic's lime, then we're good. It's very fresh. Yeah. It's like a, a fruit. This is like a real fruit salad That's in your mouth. Yeah, it's a whole fruit salad. It's biscuity, it's chickeny, it's bacony, it's eggy, and it's gravy. That's a perfect biscuit. Good, the consistency of everything is on point, like the chicken. This is really good. This is really good. I'm really interested in these hash browns though. I'm gonna be, be honest. I'm nervous. No. Incredible. All right. It's a 10. This is the hash browns, but it's loaded. So I think they put like jalapenos, a little bacon, a little cheddar. And then I threw this. It's a secret sauce. You don't know what it is, but I put it on there. I thought it was a little spicy, but now I'm realizing it's just the jalapeno. It takes a lot of preparation for the perfection of what's about to happen in my mouth. Then you go like this and you just... Dazzle it, bro. Just what is that, the honey? The honey, bro. You know, funny about this honey, big dog. It's not the direction I thought you were going here. Mixing two things. <laughs> Ever had so sweet and salty? That's amazing. <laughs> this is torture for my food. It's amazing. This honey is really good. It's not overbearing. Manny is a real food connoisseur, so I'm expecting real food reviews from Manny. A little more than just it's bacony and eggy. <laughs> Biscuits on point, not too dry. The chicken is crispy and not dry. The gravy, real creamy and uh, tasty, not bland or anything like that. It's a little messy, but what do you do with You kept yours like together this? very well. Yeah. Mine's all over the place. That's it, it's time to eat. Michael's ready to eat. We'll see y'all later. All right, stop number one, Dallas. There's only a few spots here in Salt Lake City, so we're gonna try to capitalize and maximize on these two. Hopefully, if we don't find a third one, we'll just buy two shoes at one of the other ones and still do the three, the original yeah, three the original giveaway. Yeah. So let's go check out Dallas, see what they got. What I will say is for these towns that don't have a huge community is normally where we find the little hole in the wall kind of spots. Yeah, our favorite. I think there's Denver gonna be was a few some, of those too. I think we're gonna find some steals and yeah. deals out here. So I'm excited. Yep, let's, let's go. check it out.
first thing I notice, we've got a little bit of a hybrid here. Yeah. Seeing some retail brands with cookies, seeing some Chinatown Market. That was the first thing I noticed was the, and, all the uh, market on yep. here. Yeah. Yep. And so I'm really liking that. Yep. So just repeating what I said about us leading the new school of these new guys. And uh, we'll see if they're maybe interested in carrying some private selection gear too. Also, something else that you, you don't normally see is big shipments coming in. We've been to a few places that have shipments, but yeah. we saw the guy bringing the dollies in earlier today. And I think he said, what yeah, What he, were they, a bunch of dunks? I think he peeked in this and said those dunks. Red box. Let me see if I can see what kind of dunks. White, white, black, white. So I'm a assuming panda. pandas. It's gotta be a panda. I'm assuming it's pandas. So in Salt Lake, I know when we were in Denver, SBs were like a huge thing. Here in Salt Lake, what's like the go-to shoe right now? Like, is it Jordan 1s? Jordan 1s Jordan 4s, okay. man. Jordan 1s and 4s, okay. Boys. All right, I should have guessed that, actually. But Sold so many of these. Me too. I found, I remember. And the Fearless name. Pack. Yeah, I, that's, I love that shoe. Yeah. I love that shoe. It's the Fearless nice. 4. So you got the OG? That's all right. Regular, regular, taupe. This just, just makes me want to do a military fork because I know everybody will want it. But, but that's the thing, is like, I'm just not feeling a Jordan 1 or Jordan 4. Like, I love that. It's my first time I see the black one, the black barber. Cold to the touch. It was cold though, wasn't it? It was actually. Shout out, Shimmy. We okay. love you. Do I need a Uncle Joey? Oh, Uncle Joey here, bro. Uncle Joey, I see my boat out there. 10-5. So I went and did the the run through, and like I said, the the main thing that stands out is obviously the transition into not all of the clothes being in plastic. You have some retail, some resale. You see, you've got shirts out on the rack here. They're starting to incorporate both, and I just think that that's just the direction of where the market is going. You can't have all resale, and you can't have all retail. I think having a comfortable mix of both is the direction that things are going if the brands can catch on. This store would be a perfect candidate for carrying private selection as a wholesale brand because we just want to create clothes specifically for all the resale stores. So maybe that'll be the next move. If you have a resale store and you want to carry private selection wholesale clothing, reach out to Larry at PRVTSelection.com. I found something. I don't even know if he's gonna like it because it's like collaborative, but we'll just see. Larry, I found hidden needle socks. Yeah, it's so funny. Little Christian got me those. But do you have that color and that color? I honestly, I have one of those and I don't know which one. I want to say it's that blue one. This purple goes with what you're wearing, literally color-wise, which what you're wearing. It's the same purple. And, I, and I don't have needle socks on right now, so can, maybe I'll- Can I get I'll, you some needle socks, yeah. please? Straight to feet. Straight, straight to fit. fit. It's straight, straight to, to fit. fit. I thought that was cool. Why? So, what is the hype between or behind Hidden and why? No why one knows is who it, it is, man? It, okay, they that's what, and that's they, what I they thought. They say it's Daniel Arsham. Oh, I also heard Lil Yachty, man. But I also say Lil Yachty <laughs> apparently. So, who knows? Who Wait, is Hidden and why? Need to know now. That's uh, the whole thing. Is who it is. Well, supposedly he was at the event. He was at the last. He was at Washington uh, Sneaker Con. The guy, and they sent me the name of who it was. Huh? Yeah. There's a pair of hidden NY needle socks. Uh, they've matched my outfit pretty properly. I don't have needle socks on today, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch these straight to feet. The needle socks, they're like almost like stance. And it just socks, so happens that the know. purple matches the purple matches the purple on the hat. Yeah. Oh, Yo, talk about your shoes. Man, Great. I pulled out the brand new Sakai Cortez, courtesy of MasterChef. I love when shoes that I don't even ask for just show up at my house and my size. I'm like, yep, that was Ian. So these pulled up, they came in. I already knew that this was gonna be a rare pair what at sneaker con. Is that it is not a pinky toe no no. It is not a pinky toe no no. Not only that, is it, it it's extremely comfortable. And you see, normally the last few Sakai waffles and Sakai shoes have had an extremely large kick out on the heel, um, but these ones are a little more contained. So it just makes the shoe look a lot more manageable and just has a cleaner look to it. But I love the material the details it sits lower it, yeah it sits it. lower down in there and I just really really like the right. shoe. he said he got me a pair but I, I guess I didn't get mine yeah. yeah Larry got his though don't look at those you got to pay extra for that <laughs> yeah bro we got an OF page where it's just me he and Larry's feet <laughs> And we pick up things and squish things like grapes. Ooh. And like we make wine with our feet. 
private wine. <laughs> private selection private wine. The, squeeze. Private, the private selection wine. What? And the bottle's like freshly squeezed wine from the feet of and Master Chef Ian yeah. and Larry and Scott. And it, it's, a, it's a peak performance <laughs> picture of Ian's big cat yeah. flexing as he's just <laughs> smashing these grapes. Dope. Uh, you gotta get the nice little scrunch going right here. You gotta get the scrunch. Well, no one's gonna see it. It's not <laughs> really? the point. The That's not the point. You gotta be ready not at all times. Point. You gotta be ready at all times. The scrunch is for shorts. You know how you pull them all the way up and then you bring them down. But, but actually, he's you guys don't understand the pressure I deal with of strangers <laughs> asking to see your underwear. They got a couple different heat lockers, which we'll go over one over there. But I noticed over here, for being, you know, of a city where there's only a few different stores, they got some cool stuff right here. The Yankees box logo, the one with the big NY on the back, fire. I need one of those used at some point. Everyone that I've ever found is just hella faded on the back and cracked really bad. Then they even have the Maladokin, Maladkin Scribble Tee, along with the Patrick Morrissey, which I already have that one, but the Scribble Tee is one I've always wanted, and I've always wanted the NY one. So super cool to see these. Of course, I don't really buy the picture tees dead stock I always buy them used and actually I only packed picture tees today I wore my Scarface yesterday my Gucci today and I'm wearing my 3-6 Mafia tomorrow so pretty cool you guys already know what I search for oh uh, school head sticker can't ever go wrong with that one super tight they got some heat in here Supremes it's FTP slide that's the new little tackle box that just came in <laughs> what do you think about a Supreme Air Force pack both colors. You scan this white one and then wait so we can compare sizes. Nine and a half? Uh, no. You got ten and a half? No. Twelve? No. Yeah. All right, we'll take both of these in a twelve. Uh, oh, really? Okay, I mean, maybe this is, this is, maybe this is a sign. We should get something different. They only have base sizes. Okay, like what? Six, six and a half, seven, I think. Let's get two sevens. Cool. Six, I'd rather get a six and a half. Two six and a half? Yeah. Cool. Like, six and a half, yeah. It's got six and a half and seven. You with it? Yeah, All right, let's run it. So we're located in the Sugar House, Utah. Um, Dow Shop, 1201 East Wilmington Avenue. And uh, Dow underscore shop on Instagram. Love it. There you Thanks, go. Man. Appreciate, appreciate it, man. It. Thank you so All much. See you guys Thanks, tomorrow. Man. You guys have a great day. All right. Came and found what we were looking for here at Dow. Grabbed a little Bay Size Supreme Pack. Getting ready to give these away. Ultimately a cool store for our first stop. They yep. definitely had a good arrangement of items. I love that they had retail and resale clothing. Uh, obviously that is the new wave if you want to maintain being profitable in this business moving forward. So that was a huge plus for me. But they also had a lot of cool shoes. Yeah. Uh, they had even in my shoes. size. Yeah, they so had some nice stuff. I was happy about the, the box logos that I saw. Yep. No picture tees, but some box logos I've been looking for. Of course they're brand new, so I'm not gonna grab them. Use is typically what I look for for the box logos or picture tees because they're too expensive but overall i will say that i'm really impressed i think with the location that they're in right now with doing the hybrid i think in the future this place is going to be killing it and going to have way more traffic than any of the other stores because they got the mixtures yeah so. and just this area looks like it's a very cool it's more restaurants and things you got the Traeger spot. Anybody need a wood pellet Me. meal? Me. Yeah. I well, I, I, have a wood, have I have one, but I need more wood pellets. Oh, you know? okay. Nice. nice. Next stop, Traeger City. store. Well, guys, stay tuned, because we're about to give this shoe away for free. All right, we're at the first spot behind Feist in Graffiti Alley. About to give away this yin and yang. First one to find us is going to get it for free. Let's go. We are about to hit start in three, two, one, go. Any guesses? I think it's going to be quick. We're I right think, by the I store. Fast, We're right by the store. This is going to be one of the fastest yeah. times. I guarantee that. someone in that store is now checking their phone. Yeah. All right, repost everyone, please. Repost, repost, repost. I think it's going to be quick, though. I think it's a fastie. There's not a lot of places for us to go hide stuff, so it, we're, it's inevitable that people find us. Wow. Okay. Wait. What? That's so fast. I'm looking like driving around here. Listen, what size shoe are you? Uh, so I'm eight woman. Six and a half. Uh, like six and a half. Yeah, Perfect. Ah. This is crazy. Two minutes, two seconds. But the cool part is, is it's a six and a half right. and a seven. So Supreme. I think the six and a half would fit. Yeah, well, I yeah. the Air Force might run they'll a little both, big. They'll both be fine. This one might fit too, though. Yeah. Awesome. What's your name? Uh, Natalia. Scotty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice Are you going to see Con? Oh, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, right? Yeah. 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 So is this awesome. something you plan on keeping or flipping? Uh. Sure. You can always take these two and trade as well and trade up to something cooler. Yeah, take yeah. tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. 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 tomorrow. Yeah. 
Alright. Oh, runner ups, runner ups. You guys all made it. Whoa. Yeah. Sorry about it, guys. Keep the notification on. We got two more yes. spots. Two more spots? Yeah, two more. All right. Yep. Please. All right. Hey. Where were you located? Huh? Where were you located? I was at the Capitol. For some reason, I thought y'all were going to pull up there. Wow. We got two more spots, though. But I live like right there. Fuck. Sorry about that. Look, just okay. make sure the notifications are on. That way, when we do the second spot, hopefully you can win. Okay. Sound good? Appreciate it. Cool. Thank you. Official time, two minutes and two seconds. This is the first winner for the first spot here in Salt Lake City. Two more places to go. Congratulations. I can't believe yeah. that we actually were pretty on yeah, point with, with the size. And two. We don't ever really go bay like that. Yeah. And then, honestly, has, have we ever had I was a woman say, win? It might be the first. No. Oh. Yeah, it's always is been. It? It's always the girlfriend driving the boyfriend okay. and he gets out of the yeah. car. It's never yeah. just a girl, like, a girl coming right. up by herself yeah. and winning. So I think so. So <laughs> congratulations. You. You're the first winner in Salt Lake. Stay tuned, guys. Two more spots to go. Stop number two. We're here at Top Show. Excited. We've been hearing a lot about yeah. this place. Not this only is the number one spot. Yeah. Number one spot in SLC. And so I understand this is the place we got to go. I'm ready for it. And I'm not sure what to expect here. I'm looking in, I'm seeing they got a couple little, a lot of Supreme accessories, reminds us like home. Yep. Seeing some cause puzzles, a lot of decks. So I'm excited. I feel like this is exactly what we are talking about. The little niche kind of uh, local spots where we just find all the little hidden treasures. So I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Details mm -hmm. across the top, mm -hmm. going across. Even these, these are cool. The way I've never seen them actually yeah, out. Mm -hmm. out and showing. I've always just been in the box. I have this one. Yeah, I love that thing. I have the black and white of that one, but I don't have the color one. And they look, they did the pop, the cosmos mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Still haven't done mine. Larry bought me a. I did mine. Yeah, um, I glued mine and I framed mine. Frame. Frame. Damn, off the rip. A little beater Chicago. What size is this? In size? It's an 11, Larry. Maybe. Okay, Fuck it. Cash out. I'm cashing in. Back in the day at our old store, we had cash, cashing out come out of the store. Like, you had cashing out was popping, and then I guess he cashed out. <laughs> I never heard of him again. So this references back to earlier what I was talking about with the last few Sakai releases have had this huge, huge uh, uh, heel that yeah the that sticks out, and this is just uh, way more they manageable. Back in, they close yeah. the mouth. This is just way more manageable when you're driving. It feels weird, but this one definitely has the right feel to it. It feels like a normal shoe, so I'm definitely digging this one. I have the Waffles, I have the Blazer Low, and now I also have this Cortez, and this Cortez might be my favorite. So we got the Bart up there, the little Bart statue oh, up nice. there. Yeah, the first and then edition. we got the Gondek like, board set in the back over here, Wait, too. Which one? Over here? Yeah, like... Nice. That's from Complex Con? Uh, no, is that 18 or no? Am I tripping? I don't know. Jordan. Pretty sure it's from Compass Con. Wow. I've tried to eBay. I've eBay bid it on this one, not the pink one, but I've done eBay bids on this one and just nothing. This is the first edition. And then he did a black and an all blue and an all red, but none of those really have any resale value than the colored one. Glance the little hat section up here at the top. I see these freewheeling hats. See that little smiley face on the top? And you already know, these are gonna be my first cops. So whoever works here, I need this. And I only have one size bag. Capital socks. Come in super handy for the fit tomorrow. You'll see. Ooh. I need this. Ten and a half. Yeah. Need it. What's the price? You might have one too. You might have a 13 up there. I said, I need that. Larry and I were literally talking about it this morning. Like, we need that shoe. 330? 330? Let's go. And I found some other capital stuff over here. And I'm gonna need all of that. Sounds good. They have a fr they have a fresh Supreme Black Dunk that's literally you didn't yeah. literally need one. I need them. Let me see your let me see your beaters Oh yeah, these are destroyed. I put these through the washing machine like multiple times already. Just to make them come back, and they still don't come back. Also, capital all three. Is that capital? Yeah. What is this? Tight. Need the. 
Okay. It's Capital Country. Man. Super dope. But also very plain. As opposed to like this feathered denim. No, oh, it looks like a mini skirt. It's like a mini skirt on my head. It for sure looks like a skirt. Yeah. It literally looks like you're wearing a skirt. Yeah. So like you would just unbutton it from here and then wrap it around your for wrist. For sure. So I just, no, let's not do that. Yeah. What's this one look like? Capital Country. When we were in LA, Full Fit Larry met Full Fit Easton. That's right. And they're Sir, back at it. Full Fit, he had the, the full Hello, Hello Kitty suit oh, okay. with the, um, the Hello Kitty Prestos. <laughs> and I think that was my first encounter with another fellow Full Fit human being. Sir. So shout out to Easton. We back at it again. Sir. You already Wait, know what time it is. Can, is there any way that we can rebuttal and give him one of the trophies when he tomorrow? Yeah. We didn't, we didn't have trophies, we didn't have full fit trophies in. Yeah. He deserves it, he's yeah. the first one. But he got, like, did, yeah. didn't you get an early bird trophy though? No. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. full yeah. fit trophy I have for you. Yeah. Cool. We got them yeah. made now because it's dope. becoming a thing since you're the first one. I feel it's only Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go back and make sure that the original. Yeah, you're gonna come to another full fit and then we'll just, just get, yeah, full 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 then we'll just give you one. Every time I see this, I really like it. Yeah, those are nice. Isn't that just nice colors and nice suede? I just like this shit. For those of you who don't know, there's only typically two stores in Salt Lake. So, to be fair and keep the three shoe three location yep. giveaway going we're gonna go ahead and buy two shoes here and have them at two different locations yeah that way we can live up to what the flyer says i mean even though technically we did just technically get two shoes yeah but the that's the spot, supreme but pack. that's like a pack we're not gonna skimp on them at all yeah cool. so i don't know i like that shoe you get Look, you remember this early pair yeah, we, we still have them up there yeah scott i have to do this and i feel so terrible about it i was chewing my gum and it fell out oh no just, just look forward no just look forward <laughs> it's just right here in this little oh, crevice. It, it didn't even stick, but but it fell. It was so funny. I had to do it. Thanks. Sorry. A little further back. Ah, uh, this is a new one. I don't have it. But do you want that? I don't have it. I don't have it. I just don't know if I'm gonna rock this. Yeah. I got another one. You don't have a paisley? I do have a paisley. Let me get the paisley. Let me get the paisley, yes. Larry. We literally had this conversation in the room because he told me, he was like, I found a paisley. I was like, bro, that's one that I've been trying to find at stores in 13s. I was like, they give him one pair to each skate shop, so I never get my size. Oh, there's some things coming down here. See, Jordan just gave me just what he didn't want to sell real quick. And then and then I was like, I need, I need the, the, the special stuff. But I have these. You got those? I have, okay. I have this is the high. Yeah. I have two I have two pairs. I hit on the raffle and then I didn't look at yeah. it. And it was like you remember it said like you have, must check out within 30, 30 minutes yeah. or whatever? And I went back like bro, it was like 50 minutes afterwards. And I went back, hit check out, and then let me just check out. I got it. Yeah, and then I got another pair. Scott gave me another pair. So I have one on ice and I have a, a regular pair. But let's see what else is in there. Yeah. Like I, I, you probably don't want to get rid of these. It's fine. I can replace that can one. You? I can't replace that one. Okay. Can we, okay. Let's look. <laughs> this is a shoe I've been looking for. Like I was just telling Larry, I need this. And then let's see what's in here. Yeah. I don't have this. I don't have this. Yeah. You can't replace this. Yeah. With the original receipt and everything too. Yeah. We got. I forget where I got. I got a whole shipment of this before it came out, like uh, the week before it came out. I got a shipment, and the biggest size I got was a 12. And I tried to put it on and make it work, but double tongue. It was. It's too much. I'll let you keep that one, but I need this. I need this. Gotcha. Yes. Secured. We need all three of y'all real quick. Actually, all four of y'all. Come over here. Real quick. In Salt Lake, what is the main silhouette shoe people are rocking the most? Dunks, fours, Jordans, fours. fours. That's what the other store told us. Yeah, Dallas told us fours too. There's no reason behind it. It's just always been that way. I don't know. Like it was mids Travis and lows Scott. for sure. Like it was mids, mids, at one mids point. and lows. Like mids and lows are what we pumped through so hard. But yeah. I think people are getting more to like the core collecting part of sneaker. Yeah. I like that though. Actual Bring the fours four. back. Like Honestly, yeah. your best like bet is an SB down. or a four. An SB or a yeah, four. Yeah, people love SBs out here. Okay, like, we don't Scott. have. We don't have any quick strike accounts, so like so keep, they can't get them. Like yeah, and the skate shops that do get them, just skate keep yeah. them, bro, and yeah. give them strictly only to skaters. So even like a bar, the Philly you stuff like that, that, people, stuff. yeah. All right, I like that. So he's letting us know that SBs here. There's like the the stores that carry SBs here and get quick strike releases. Get, keep them only give them to sneakerheads. So this might be a good type of shoe to give away. 
for an SB because nobody because nobody can really get their hands on. They're saying even like a bar or yeah. like a Phillies or something. I love Bart Simpson. I love the Bart yeah. too. What do you think more though? People would want a Bart or a Paisley? Paisley. Paisley more. I think just because we have Bart and smaller. I don't know. I'd, Honestly, it's for like the kids, so the yeah. bar probably better, smaller size. That's probably who. Does. What size is though? Like how small? Like a nine and a half, ten. That's pretty good. I like that. And then a four. Let's go look for a four. Man, this is unreleased in the U.S. It is. Yeah. All right, I think this is the one. We're gonna follow up with the guys real quick, and I think this, this might be it. So my man's here was asking about the fit on the Sakai, and he was explaining that when he saw this air bubble in the front, it made him want to put a light in it because that's what he says he does to Air Maxes. So explain just a little more in depth and how you make that work. Yeah, so, you turn it so all my Air Max customs, I do a Jordan 1 tongue. I pull out that short, fat Air Max tongue and then I put LEDs in the air units. Super dope. So it's just basically ran with a watch battery, super thin. It's all molded into the midsole. I drill it out so everything's flush. You don't feel anything underneath your feet. There's no cross wires, no, no shorting out. So yeah. How long have you been doing this? I mean, I've been doing customs for like almost 15 years. What's your name? Tell everybody where to find you. JSM801. You can check me out on YouTube, JSM801, or my Instagram is JSM801. Um, I got all my content on there, TikTok, whatever, but yeah, this JSM801. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, my man. Yeah. Much love, bro. You guys Appreciate from? that. Dallas. Oh, Dallas. I designed all the cleats for the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, for like the so My Cause, My Cause. Uh -huh. Cause. Yeah. Yeah. Week, yeah. So, yeah, my boy Simi. Simi got me on that. So, yeah, I do. That's do super dope. Players out there. You said nine and a half. Yep. But it looks like that one got sold yesterday. So okay. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 So that honestly doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah. So, dope. they told us uh, there's not a lot of SB. Actually, is there even an, an SB account in Salt Lake? Like, like, not in Salt Lake. Not in the city. Yeah. Okay, so, so rare those. commodity here in Salt Lake is SBs. Yep. And then the most popular shoe in Salt Lake is the four yep. and one of the guys said that the Zen Master was his favorite so we went with that one it's not one you don't it's not one you see no, all the time it's early bird it's, it's unreleased yeah. in the well, US I've seen a lot of them unreleased, at the events but I guess you're in right the US. Yeah. in the US it's not come out so cool. early bird boys got to give away early bird it literally looks like a DIY tie-dye yeah, shoe tie -dye out. Cool. all right Appreciate you guys. Cool. All right, yeah, so tell us about the golf wing guitar. So the kid that consigned it with us said that he bought like the super VIP Camp Flognaut ticket. Okay. Um, that like got him backstage and it said it came with a free gift. He had no idea what it was. And then when they got there, he was like checking in or whatever and they hand everyone like this big ass guitar bag. And they open it up and they're like, yeah, these are one of 2000 Tyler the Creator, Golfwing, Fender, Stratocasters, like. So sick. I've never yeah, seen it. Yeah, and it's it worth like, store. yeah, it's worth the full price of like the ticket, the ticket that you just paid for. So it's like kind of Tyler's way of like, you supported me in the full list, like watch, I'll give you everything back. That's like, lit. So yeah, it's definitely And you a get cool the strap thing. and the yeah, guitar pick the all strap matching. And the, yeah. Like it's sick, bro. It's definitely yeah. sick. And we're talking like, straps are like 700 retail just for a regular like starting, starting entry level, you know what I mean? And this is yeah. custom, whatnot, who knows what else is in it. One but thousand. one of 2000, like yeah, that's freaking sick. What'd you do to your finger? I was trying to open a wine bottle without a corkscrew, okay? And I found, I was looking up a hack on how to do it. And they said you could take a uh, car key and shove the car keys in and then twist it and pull up. So I went to go grab my car keys and it's I have a push to start, so I have a car key. But what else did I have on there? A brand new Supreme knife. I was like, bet. I open up the Supreme knife, stab it in, and I start like twisting like this. Well, I twist, my hand slips, it goes poof, and it goes straight down to the bone. Yeah, it's gnarly. So that's what happened, and I'm out. I had to get six <laughs> stitches. That's cool. Six stitches, I'll be back in two weeks. Yeah. All right, I appreciate it, guys. Um, if you don't mind, let them know where we're at, where you guys are located in the IG. We're at Top Shelf SLC, 65 West, 100 South, Top Shelf underscore SLC on Instagram. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks to all you guys. Thanks, boys. Cool. Top Shelf, Salt Lake City. Oh my God. How did it even land like that? Well, we got Zins. We got some Zins. If you guys want to start it off. There it is. Found some Zins to give away. So that's for the giveaway. We also <laughs> had to grab a second pair. What else? The Bart's. Of Bart's cool. for the giveaway. So because this is the second stop for Salt Lake and our last stop, we had to get two pairs of shoes. We also got yeah, Paisley. Mean? Yeah, Larry got the matchy match. Yeah, shoes. we got the little yeah. matchy match. These two shoes, in my opinion, are needle looking shoes mm. and they're capital 
looking shoe. Dude, uh, where's your needles with they're, the brown stripe? Very, oh, those are tomorrow. These going to hit with the needles. They're very capitally right That's now. why I wanted it. I wanted yeah. it for tomorrow. And like they are saying earlier, there's no skate shops here. There's no SB accounts here. So that's why we had to do the bar. We had to get these. That's why we did They're the rare unicorns here. Our bags are flying. I'll catch you. I'll and getting crazy. Speaking of capital, I was able to find a nice little haul. You know it's always a win for me when I could go to a place, find a little bit of needles or a little bit of capital. I found myself a bag. Much needed. Larry's been hyping me up on these uh, and now it makes me want to get one. What are they socks. called, Larry? It, called? It, I don't know how to pronounce it. No, Somebody Japanese can no. tell me, but it's T-E-N-G-U-I. It's like a Japanese thing. Ten 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 and Alonzo showed me a picture of Takashi Murakami wearing this, so I was like, all right, run it. It's time to go and give away the Bart and the Zen Master. At two different locations. Two different locations. Let's get it. Outside the Eagle Gate with Slurpy Mouth Ian. <laughs> Ready to give away this second shoe, the Zen Master Jordan 4. It's unreleased, it's early. It's an early, early bird, bird shoe. boys, under the early bird. Early Giving bird shoes. So hopefully somebody who respects this shoe will wear it or sell it and make a profit. But here we go. Ready, sit, and go. Boom. Okay, so I've come to a realization that Utah Salt Lake is very small. Mm. And they already know the focal points of where we're gonna go. So this won't be long at all. I give it another two and a half minutes. Two and a half. It is a desert out here. He's already come. Oh, he's already here. Damn. Oh my god. No, 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 I just got a story. I where just where were you? Right there. I damn like, you were gonna go up to the capital. No way. Yeah. Gary, he jumped out of a moving vehicle. I had to. <laughs> look, look, this guy's here. He's just <laughs> Monica! Just like hitting laps around here yeah, or what? It's really? small. You I, just yeah, talked about it. It's it small. There's not that many places to go. Well, all right, you want them, bro. That was easy. That, that was, was a quick, quick win. How yeah. many seconds is that? That was nothing. What, what size shoe do you wear? Yeah. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine it's and eight and a half. Okay. This is an eight and a half. Are you going to sneaker con tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. And this is an easy win. You can take that, swap it out, have a good time with it at sneaker con. <laughs> What's up, man? Are we going all together? Yeah. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all slow. We got one more to do. 58. We got one more. 59 seconds. Yeah, something. An extremely fast, maybe a record time. That might be a record time. <laughs> but as we said, it's a small city. Like, you can look and you can see the edge of the city yeah. Yeah. looking north, <laughs> south, crazy. east, west. So at the end of the day, it was a quick find, but a proper spot for the early bird shoe right here under the eagle. So stay tuned. We've got one more spot left we'll catch you at the next spot oh. scott come in we have stalkers right now they think we don't know but we're on to them okay, well. okay it was the same guy that was wearing the car with the easy slides right Manny looks he goes oh i know those guys i know those guys and i look over and i see one i go what kind of shoes they got on he walks out easy slides and some other shoes they look they start pointing at y'all two out there look around they dip inside council hall See you never. Here we gotta go because they're not their cars yet. Go, yeah, go, go. close the door, close the door. Action scene. Yes. Action scene. Oh. Action scene. Yeah, that's him, that's him, that's him. Ooh. That's him. That's him looking left to see. Oh, Let's go up to this mountain. Oh no, where I'm going. We're going to the top of the mountain. No, we're going to the top of the mountain. You guys want to go to the top of this mountain Let's right go. now? Alright, we're gonna find some scenic stuff. I'm taking this to Scenic Mound. It's right next to a trailhead. So you're taking a right right here. I will pick a blackberry off not this wall for a you. nature boy. I'll pick a blackberry off one of these bushes for you. Get You'll have a great day. Have an allergic reaction. You don't like blackberry? No, you're gonna look like the guy from Willy Wonka. I'm giving it to you, not me. <laughs> Who ate the berry and then turned into one. Bro, we're making people run up this? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the most remote. We're in the middle of nowhere, kind of, or at the top of the city. And uh, we're on a nature we're trail. high elevation. Ensign Peak Preserve. Only reserve. Boys, I made it. Well, last spot for our giveaway. Took us a little hike to get here. We are atop the mound at Ensign Peak Park. As you can see, this is arguably probably the best view you could get in Salt Lake City. And uh, since there were so many people around the Capitol, we figured this might be a better place to do this last giveaway. So, about to drop the video, see how long it takes. I'm ready to get this started. This is quite a hike. I think this is the most we've ever put somebody through to get a shoe, but it's worth it for the view. Homemade umbrella, because I'm pasty. That was Halo, that wasn't Titanic. <laughs> what, which one? <laughs> 
It's 111 outside. It's hotter in Texas. Three, two, one. Fuck. It's gonna be a minute, guys. Five minutes. Well, they were stalking us at the Capitol, so they're not far. That's what I'm the Capitol's right there. It's actually, if you follow this trail right here, it's called Hell Canyon. Yeah, it sounds horrible. Uh, you being serious? Yeah, Hell Canyon. We got a runner. There's no oh, way. Oh, it's for sure, they're running. Yo, that's fast. Shortcut. In some jeans. Oh, he's gonna sweat, swampy ass. He's gonna sweat. <laughs> Swamp ass. He's sweating for the barks. <laughs> he said you're crazy for this. <laughs> He's Your like, voice. fuck it. Anyway, you know. going for miles. I go. But look, there was so many people around everywhere else. This is the only way to get away and make sure you that won. we had one true winner. The and real it you, winner, bro. It was you. But watch out for the condom. What the fuck? Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up, dog? Are you from Salt Lake? Nah. You just ran that with. Oh, like a you hear that car? Elevation. Oh, yeah. You hear a car? Time. 312. Is it my size, too? Are they really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We've been doing good yeah, on Use size. your bag as an umbrella. You put awesome. it in the middle <laughs> and then just close it. Word up, man. Look, they're, they're already gone. Oh, yeah. Sorry, big dog. Too late, big dog. All right, let them know what your IG is. Nubek Kicks. N U B E K I C K S. There you go. You just won. All right. Hernan just won the triathlon. Look, he climbed the mountain, he prevailed. <laughs> Any one of free pair of shoes. Let's go. It's been a great scavenger hunt. We will see you in the next city. Thank you guys. Oh!